Hey guys, so I came home on lunch. I'm gonna do a quick gar uh, garden update. I didn't think about the wind. All right, so here's my kale. I've reduced it down to the patches that grew the best. So I planted a couple seeds in each spot and I didn't really thin them out, but I'll just thin them out when they get a little bigger and just make a salad out of the ones I thin out and then let the other ones grow. Anyway, I've got a whole patch right here of kale. It's coming up pretty good. Here's my potatoes. They're doing pretty well. Uh, I've been layering uh, hay up as I go and then I put some compost down on top of that hay and now I've got another hay. I'm going to do another couple layers of hay and then I'll do some more compost and we'll just keep building this area up as they grow. Um, as you can see they're getting quite a bit of shade and the reason why is this tree right here. So these little trees, these two right here, they're coming down soon. I just haven't wanted to break the chainsaw out so all right, this little area right here is where I planted my onions and about 10 days in or so I threw some wood chips on top and that was a bad idea because they weren't really able to make it through the wood chips. I found some wiry ones that didn't make it through but that's okay, I'm gonna plant something else right here. I still have plenty of time. All right, uh, right here I planted the black eyed peas and that nostrium flower or whatever. Uh, this is the nostrium flowers, I think. Uh, they're coming up. I thought it was the peas at first, actually, but then I have some also back here behind my uh, pole beans. So I'm pretty sure that's the flower. Anyway, here's my pole beans. I'll try to get you a good view of them. And there's the full row all the way to that orange bucket. So, there's all those. I've got like four growing right here, so, or three. I'm gonna thin those out pretty soon and kind of fill in some of the spots that I missed or that didn't produce. And I was gonna think about putting them right there where the peas are, but I'm gonna wait and see. Um, right here. I planted corn and I planted 94 total corn seeds. So we're probably like 10 days or something or maybe just under that right now. So they should be popping up any day now. Um, where Aloha is standing right now is where I started my ochre right behind his back feet. I got a row right there and I have just zigzag rows all the way up past those rocks. You can kind of see where the rows were. But uh, they were probably on the second or third of May so they're probably only six days in or so now um, we have flowers planted here but nothing's coming up yet this is the last row of my okra and that stump right there is where the hall is standing so all of this right here is okra um, my lettuce comes from that tree all the way up here into that tree it's not doing super well. Got some more right here. Okay, now in this area, across from the house, I put some rows of wood chips and that's where I was gonna plant my um, tomatoes. Uh, my neighbor started some tomatoes and she said I could have some, but I haven't got with her on those, so I don't know for sure if I'm gonna get them. I went ahead and planted all the wood chips with uh, bell peppers. So I planted orange, yellow, and red bell peppers. I don't know if they'll actually turn out those colors or not, but um, I planted a bunch of bell pepper seeds. They're probably 20 foot rows and I planted three rows of it. Um, also I emptied out the compost that my neighbor brought me. I had three buckets. I've been using some of it, but I dumped the rest of the bucket in one row right here. I've got another full bucket here, and you can barely see it because it's a shadow, but there's another full bucket right there. Also, he said there's more, so I can go get as much as I want. So I've got to clear some of this um, 
This is actually uh, tree suckers from the stumps I cut down, but I'm gonna make some rows with this and with that one, and I'm gonna plant hot peppers. So it'll basically be bell pepper, hot pepper, bell pepper, hot pepper. And uh, I'm not really worried about cross pollination or anything. So the puppy just enjoying the sun. I pretty much gotta get back to work, but I wanna say, show one more thing. Um, Y'all know I was having tooth pain and stuff like that. And Papa Pepper actually had a tooth, tooth pain medicine that's natural that he grows. Let me make sure I'm not blurry. Uh, so I stopped by the post office and I got a um, package from Papa Pepper. So I appreciate the blessing, man. Um, I was just asking for tooth pain medicine because someone told me that he had a plant. Uh, so he sent me toothache medicine. It says toothache plant flowers. This one says, these are all bonuses. This is edible snake gourds. And this one was Chinese red noodle beans. And I haven't looked up what that is yet, but um, I'm really excited about that because that sounds cool. Anyway, I appreciate the blessing from Papa Pepper and his family. And uh, I definitely will be getting these in the ground next. So, um, yeah, pretty soon we'll be planting that. Anyways. Uh, I don't actually know what time it is, but I ought to get back to lunch. So, uh, I had to run home and grab something. And it was a beautiful day, so I didn't mind just taking a drive. There's a little bit of an exhaust leak on the bus. So I haven't been driving it very much right now, but um, I couldn't pass up the opportunity today. So uh, I'm gonna get that done soon. Uh, on my next day off, I'm gonna be working on the Camaro all day. But uh, the next opportunity I have, I'm gonna have some work on the bus. So I'll show you all a little more about the bus and show you some mechanicing on that. Uh, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, stay tuned for more garden stuff if you're interested in that. All right, I'll show you the puppy when he finally makes it up here. Love you guys. Have a good night. Tell him good night. Good night. Or good day.